Hi there, I'm Aaron and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On my channel you will find skincare reviews and recommendations, so subscribe if you are interested in that. In the last two weeks I've made two skincare haul videos, uh, please check them out. I bought products from Cosrx, declares I'm from and by Wrist Trend. I've already been asked to try certain products out which I have already added into my skincare routine currently. The whole videos are a very good reference to sort of seeing what I have in my skincare storage and if you would like me to try certain products first so I can make a review on them, uh, yeah, please check them out and then let me know in the comments below. Today's video is going to be on the Hada Labo Cohesion Hydrating Lotion. It is the number one best-selling lotion in Japan. So in this video, I will tell you a little bit about the product itself. i uh, also tell you about its application and also my personal experience with it. So stick around. So this lotion has four types of hyaluronic acid in it to provide you with hydration and moisture and it not only provides you with moisture on the surface it's also meant to help provide moisture down in the deep layers of your skin as well. The lotion is also pH balanced and you're meant to use it sort of early on in your skincare routine because it helps facilitate a better absorption of your other skincare product that you put on top of it. It has a very rich like viscous texture which is really great for people who have dry to normal skin. This hydrating lotion doesn't have any fragrances, mineral oil, alcohol or colorants in it. So the chance of you getting an irritation from this is very, very low. If you want to add this into your skincare routine, you would typically use this after cleansing. As of filming this video, in my skincare routine, I sort of don't use it straight after cleansing because I have other serums that I'm meant to be using first. So in my morning skincare routine, I do use the Buffet with Copper Peptides first, and then I put this one on top, and then a hydrating toner, and then a moisturizer and SPF. In the evening, it is a little bit more simple. I do use this after cleansing, and then I put the toner, and then I put a retinoid on top, and then a moisturizer, and then a sleeping pack. If you're someone that cleans, tone, and then moisturizes, I would suggest putting this between the cleansing and the toning step. When you look at the ingredients, you will see some familiar faces. There's obviously glycerin in here. This is a natural moisturizer. There is also hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, which is a lower molecular weight of hyaluronic acid, so it's great for deeper penetration into your skin for hydration. The hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid is great for helping your skin retain water, make it look more plump as well as more elastic. Then there is also a hyaluronic acid in here that you don't really see around a lot. It is the sodium acylated hyaluronate. It's patented by Shiseido and they call it a super hyaluronic acid because it's meant to be able to hold a lot more moisture than normal hyaluronic acid. And then the final hyaluronic acid in here is just typical sodium hyaluronate. It's very famous for being able to hold a thousand types of its own weight in water. So yeah, there's a lot of different types of hyaluronic acid in here as well as different molecular weights. So it penetrates your skin in different layers and different levels. So typical hydrating product. Onto what I think of the lotion. So for its formula, I think it's all right. Going from the Halamide Low Molecular Hyaluronic Acid to this Hada Labo Gokujun Hydrating Lotion, I definitely did feel like it was a step down. The Hada Labo didn't provide my skin with the firmness and long-term moisture that I got used to with the Halamide Low Molecular Hyaluronic Acid. However, if you go from not using any sort of hyaluronic acid products to using it, you will find that this is very hydrating. So far I have used about four fifths of the product in about two months. I got this on YesStyle for 20 Australian dollars. When it came out years ago, it was a very good hydrating product. But so much time has passed and skincare companies have formulated better products with hyaluronic acid in it. The only time I would recommend getting this hydrating lotion is if you're actually in Japan and you see it on the shelves there because it is a lot more cheaper there than it is getting it online. I paid pretty much double what you would pay for in Japan for this product when I got it online on YesStyle. A product that is very similar to this would be the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. So if the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid is very easy for you to get then I'd recommend going for that one. However, if you're in Japan and you feel like the weather's a little bit dry for you, then you can definitely pick this one up as well. It definitely earned its reputation when it first came out, but so much time has passed that I don't think the formula of this one has kept up 
with recent years. If you see it on the shelves in Japan, then I would definitely recommend considering to get it. But if you're shopping online, chances are you will find more sophisticated formulated products with hyaluronic acid that can provide you with the hydration that you need. And that's it! Thanks for watching today's video. Take a look at the description box for my socials as well as links to the other videos that I've already made. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And since you're here, subscribe to my channel for more skincare videos. I'll see you next Saturday. See ya.